This video is designed for beginner artists who haven't had a lot of experience in drawing. I'm going to present the very basic creation of a dala. You first start with a circle and then you do a swooping line which is one line in any way that's moving across and through the circle. Now, you could go this way, you could go that way. I don't ever do it that way. I, I'll show you. That's more like my swooping line, but that's, that's my personal mark. You will have your own way of moving your hand and creating your swooping line. Now, I'm not sure you can see this swooping line very well because it's pencil. So I will make a tracing of it and then as I create the dala, I'll present the tracing of it up in the corner. Here's my circle and here's my swooping line. I noticed that I ended up almost in the same place where I began and that is not normal for me. That is not something that you need to try to do. You can end up anywhere. I usually end up in another corner someplace. So this was just peculiar. I was afraid that if you saw this, you might think you were supposed to end up where you started, and that's not the case. If you do, it's perfectly fine. My intent is to make this very simple. So I picked a simple object like an apple, which some of you might choose. And to be quite honest, I find an apple a little bit difficult because it doesn't have an extraordinary shape like a pear might or a pineapple that would be really complex. To bend a circle around my swooping line is a bit of a challenge. Now an apple, though I love them and I eat, I eat about four a day, uh, I don't find them that interesting to look at unless they have a beautiful stem. And this doesn't have a beautiful stem, so it will be challenging. I want to show you, however, that you can still create something of interest in a dala form in a simple way without great drawing skills with a basic round apple. First, I look to see where I might fit this apple in. I don't have to have it sitting like that. It can sit like this. It can be upside down. I'm going to have it sit right like that. I'm going to start in this shape I'm not going to put the stem in the center. That could end up being boring. So I will just draw simply, no detail, the center of the stem right there. And I see a little bit of the stem going down. So I will look carefully at that shape, not worrying about where it's going to be. There it is. Now I'm going to be simple. Normally I would draw in the highlights and that sort of thing. But I'm making it simple. I will draw the outside of the apple there. It's probably too far away from it, but that's okay. Now I'm not going to draw the apple there, but I will draw another part of the edge of the apple there. And I wouldn't see the apple down this way, so that's it. That's it for my apple. Very simple. I could add the shadow. I'm not going to, keeping it basic. Now I'm going to draw something on the side. I didn't really bend this apple the way that normally I would bend something in my dollar. So looking at the side, I see this swooping up and I'm going to bring it around and I'm still not really bending the apple. And that's what I see right along there. And then I see a bit of the apple there. Now this is looking totally wonky to me, but that's perfectly okay. Now I'll draw the bottom of the apple and I'll draw that right up here. There are some little tiny, almost like little leaves I'm looking at shapes. That's it. Now that can be my entire dollar. That is a very basic dollar. 
watch what I can do with it now. To make it a little bit more interesting is I will ink the perimeter. And then I know because I've done this before that I will also want to make a border out of that because there's so little of interest going on in here. And I believe most of you can draw an apple far more interesting than these apples. But I'm just making it as simple as possible. I will do more demonstrations on simple dollars with objects that are a little more interesting. Now I'm also going to draw along my swooping line. I don't always do that, but in this case I'm going to. There it is. That is my dollar. Now, just for fun, I'm going to color it with some markers so that you can see that something even as boring as this might be kind of fun. Here is my dollar after coloring it in with markers. Now, the reason I used markers instead of watercolor, which I normally use, is because I made this sketchbook from a student grade watercolor paper, Richeson, and I find it um, pretty unacceptable for watercolor. So I am going to use marker probably or just ink throughout this book in the demos that I do for simple dollars. Now this is, I, I find it a little bit more interesting. Remember it is not about an apple. It is about the shapes that I found in the apple. So the fact that this was part of the apple and I made it the same color and value as this space behind the apple is totally irrelevant. It needed to be like that rather than make this a bigger, more uncomfortable shape. Now watch what I can do if I feel like it, if I think, oh, this is just far too boring. I know what a stem of an apple sort of looks like. So I can create an apple stem right there. And then I turn this whole thing into an apple. So now that states it as an apple. And if that just looks like it's stuck on and you feel comfortable creating a little bit, I can go from this line, okay, and I can add a little bit of an apple shape. I have to end that somewhere and I don't really want this shape. So I added a little bit here and then once I added that and I'm following the swooping line that goes outside of my circle, I want to carry this behind there. And, and I'm, again, I'm just looking at shapes. I think what I'll do is I'll make it this color and then I might change. I'll make that a little bit darker. I'm going by shape and value and then picking my color just based on what markers I have. I don't have a lot of these. See that these shapes have combined now? That's why I'm going to make that darker. When it's the same value, the shapes will combine to be one bigger shape. Squint at this and you'll see that. There we go. I have a much more interesting dollar going on now. And this, I think, I would extend up to this other part of the swooping line. And I don't care about the line I already made because, in fact, I might turn that into the end of an apple, too. Why not? Because this is just an experiment. This is just to play with. I'm learning about shapes. I'm learning about design. I'm learning about value, and my drawing gets better, everything gets better. So play with it. See what you can do with something as boring a shape as a simple apple. I will also do a demo on how it can be much more fascinating when you simply cut it in half.